Today is the day. Ever since we first met up with Roman, he mentioned the idea of us coming out to visit him at his house, and it's something that you guys have been really looking forward to, we've been looking forward to, and although yesterday I said that it wasn't gonna happen, Roman reached out to us, said that Brittany and the baby are doing well, so we are going to head over there and get to meet everyone for the first time ever. Yay. Well, everyone except Roman, so. We've got some cool stuff planned, and uh, I'm really excited. Me too, we always have such a good time with him. All loaded up with the trailer, bringing all the toys over, and we're ready to go. We left Florida to escape the heat, and it's actually 99 degrees here in Ohio. What is going on? It's so humid outside. I did not know places that snowed got this hot in the summer. He just pulled up to Roman's house. Looks like he's already getting into something. Do you think he's gonna jump the bike into the water? What is he doing? I, I hope he doesn't. He's that doesn't crazy. look like a good idea. What are you doing? Maybe this one though, like this. That's a nice bike. Like imagine. <laughs> <Shoo! laughs> bike. We just have to reach out to them and see if they'll give us one to send to the water. What's up? What's up, buddy? Long time no see. What's up? So here's the deal. It's hot, like Florida, like your temperatures, right? Yeah, we actually talked about that on the way. It feels really wet, like I'm, I'm, I'm um, wet. Yeah, I wish I didn't have makeup on. I remember Roman sending me kind of the blueprints of this thing. What was that, a couple months ago? It was forever, dude, and I was so excited for you to come here. I was like, I had Adam on my mind and I was building this. <laughs> now it's here. Oh. It's, 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 it's nearly finished. It's so, deceptive. It's like 20 feet deep, apparently. Yes. Super deep. So the plan today... Roman says we're gonna be jumping some bikes in here. We're gonna tow some stuff with a quad, maybe? You can teach you. Well, every time I get together with you, you teach me something on a bike, so I thought maybe today uh, we play a game of horse or pig or whatever. Bike. They... Bike. Yeah. Oh, Bike's appropriate. Oh, so we're just building like a little runway now so we don't have to pedal through the grass. So that wouldn't be too fun. Do you have machinery for this, Roman? <laughs> I could have. That is just awesome. <laughs> Stack them on the, on the path the bottom all I think I cut him out, but he said, whoa, your wife films for you. That's way less relatable. <laughs> Woo! Should we duct tape them together? Look at that. I don't even, I mean maybe, but I don't even think we need to. Do you guys know how I'm kind of into the, you know, Traxxas RC cars? Dude, how can you not be? It's the greatest. I'm barely into it compared to Roman. Look at this wall. <laughs> hey, how many chargers do you have? Because I actually have batteries that I need to charge. Maybe I should do that now. Yeah, I got a whole bunch over here. Sweet. Yeah. I'm so excited to go in the water. Go it's so water. hot out. We got these pool noodles to uh, put on the bike to make it float better. I didn't film this yet, but uh, this was Roman's idea of a pond bike. So what do you... I mean, idea. This is legit. This is legendary pond status right here. This is using things that you have at your home to your advantage. Okay, this. I like it. You said it floats. This it does float. I, you gotta give it some credit. Look at that. People build islands like this, dude. It's very relatable. One of the coolest things that Roman has is this thing right here. How convenient is that? Um, I love that thing. Like, I'm not kidding. I love it. Like, I find excuses just to drive it. I love seeing you like get in your garage and open up the door and that's just chilling there, the hop in. The problem is it takes up my garage. Like it's the biggest thing and I never leave it out. So it's like, there's nowhere to put it, it's huge. Yeah, Roman's actually having to sell the GTR because that needs the garage space. It sucks. Yeah. It really sucks. We're filming the game of bike for Roman's channel. We got a couple different angles, Nicole in the water. Got a drone shot. He's doing a 360 one-hander. One hand. Yo! That was great. I could not get my hand back on the bar, I lost it. <laughs> Just lunge forward. Yo! That was perfect. All right, Roman's got a flip coming up. Yank back and look back, you got this. Send it. Yo! Dude, that was it. Yo, it felt close. Dude, that was it. Let's see what Roman's got. Oh, he's flying. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, the ramp almost fell in. <laughs> we had some fun jumping into the lake, and now another one of Roman's crazy ideas is towing this hot dog behind the quad on the lake. You got it, buddy. You got it, Adam. Just wait for it to just fly off. Yeah, <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, so Chase thinks he dropped the hot dog. He's got to go in to get it. Yeah, he thinks he has to go get it, but I'm going to pull it as soon as he... You got to get in, dude. You got to get it back up there. There you go. <laughs> Roman's on the quad. 
and he's gonna be pulling out of man on the hot dog. That was way too chill, so I, I told Roman we should uh, bring the ramp out. I'm gonna start from back here and we're gonna launch it. How do you feel about all this, Nicole? See ya. <laughs> I feel like you're too much of a daredevil and I feel like you should be wearing a helmet. All right, I'll wear a helmet. Let's do it. What? Can you come your helmet? What if, no, because do you think you're safe? No, I'll wear a helmet. I'll give you that peace of mind. Oh, happy wife equals happy life. What do we have here? <laughs> you look ridiculously cute. <laughs> I'll move the ramp a little bit this way. That's just a farther gap. Hit it! <laughs> and I just see Adam doing wheelies <laughs> in the driveway. We're in the house for the first time. Nicole, what do you think? It's a lot bigger than I thought. Yeah. Bigger? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll take it. So. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Roman's actually revealing the name of Baby Nicole. Baby, <laughs> Baby Nicole. You know we just can't come up with any other name. name Could you imagine? Can you imagine? Thank you. Oh look, she didn't like that. No. She don't want to be Nicole. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. We went through the trouble of bringing the truck and trailer here, so how could we not pull out the S13? She's coming out. This is something that I've been wanting to do at our house forever, <laughs> but unfortunately we have cobblestone driveway. Can you guess what we're gonna do? Drift car, plus big empty driveway, plus... Just a great way to leave People that are down for me to do things on big, <laughs> awesome driveway. It's a great way to leave our mark forever. They'll never forget us. All right, Roman, so you understand that this is gonna leave marks in the driveway, yeah, right? I'm so nervous right now. Like I'm freaking out because I remember the last time we did donuts, there was police and there was. It's yeah, gonna we're fine here. It's we're fine here. We're at my house. Dude. We can do whatever we want. You don't mind the marks? No, dude. All right. The marks come and go, bro. They come and go. <laughs> do they? Do they go though? I don't know. <laughs> they will we'll see. I'll be honest. Even my cat, every time I turn on here, leaves black marks, and then in like a week or two, they're gone. All right. So. Okay. <laughs> explain how honored I am that I was able to do a donut at the Atwood house. Not a donut. Numerous okay, donuts. Numerous do you know donuts. what those skid marks are? Dude, I'm pumped. That was super fun. I like even had a little bit of grass drop at then, but it's okay. Like Roman's just gonna send me a bill. You know, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Let's pack this thing up. Yup. After oh, you I just don't wait, know. you just wait till raise. After a week of like baby stuff i haven't really done much so this was absolutely amazing thank you guys for coming but thank I'm, I'm, you wore me out thank you so I much feel tired tonight. it was an absolute honor getting to hang out here dude like thank you so much are you kidding me yeah come back anytime i appreciate you it yeah so our next goal is to come back so we can get to ride rays more and we're gonna try to get roman out there because dude, you? you're gonna have a blast uh, just the one photo i saw was like this exists it looks yeah. like a dream like i woke up Dude, there was this place where all these trails, like indoors though, it was really weird. That's what it looked like to me. Well, sooner or later you'll have that exact thing in your backyard, I'm sure. Well, maybe you come here and redesign it with me. All right, sounds good. Build a crazy place. Bye GTR. Bye Roman's bicycle. Yo, that could probably fit in your, that could probably fit in your trailer and then I could get my cat in here. All right, I'll take it. Let's do it. Let's load it up. Getting to hang out at Roman's house was 
absolutely amazing. I can't explain how crazy it is to get to go to a place that we've watched so many videos from. I have to extend a massive thank you to Roman for letting us come over. Like it, re it really means a lot to us that he's comfortable enough for us to come visit his home, meet his family and have fun and be a part of one of his videos. If you guys haven't seen any of Roman's videos before, all I can say is there's a little bit for everyone. Roman's a family guy. He gets crazy with pretty much everything you could possibly imagine. RC cars, bicycles, things with engines. And on top of that, his jokes, pranks, whatever you want to call them, they are so insane over the top that almost everyone that he does goes viral. He's a really great guy and I can tell you that he's the most genuine dude. So in the event that you might be maybe the 1% of my channel who hasn't heard of him, I highly recommend you check out some of his videos. Now you guys are in for a treat because as you can see this is an extra long video. I have footage from the previous day when we visited Ray's Mountain Bike Park, which is one of the craziest places you could possibly imagine. But before that I wanted to quickly talk to you about one of our sponsors, Blue Apron. Unfortunately, now that we're on the road, we haven't been able to get our Blue Apron deliveries and I can't show you. But Blue Apron is the number one fresh ingredient and recipe delivery service in the entire country. Blue Apron has partners with local farms, fisheries, and ranches all across the state. So all the food is fresh and I personally think that I can taste the difference. It's pretty affordable, it's very easy to make the recipes, and the great part is the fact that it's flexible. So you can go online and you can pick from different recipes so you know that you're actually getting stuff that you want. And in the event that for some odd reason you can't find something that you like, you can just skip a delivery and then use it for the next week. Check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free by just going to blueapron.com forward slash LZ. The meals are fun, they taste good, so make sure you go. Blueapron.com forward slash LZ. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. Thank you Blue Apron for sponsoring yet another video. And thank you guys for supporting the companies that support us. Today marks our sad departure from Camp Woodward. We're leaving in a bit of a rush and a bit earlier than we probably would have liked to, but there's a reason behind that and you'll quickly understand. It's always so sad leaving camp. No. I feel like every time I've left this camp, I've always been leaving with stuff that I still wanted to do, stuff I still wanted to film, tricks I still wanted to try. But that's kind of the allure of it, because that keeps you coming back. We just got a spare wheel just chilling next to this wheel. It doesn't look as like odd from that angle. It's I just know. Like a wheel hanging off the side of the roof rack. Well, we're, why are we calling country? There's this mountain bike park in Cleveland, Ohio that both Nicole and I have been wanting to go to for quite some time. It's got crazy pump tracks, so Nicole loves it. It's got crazy box jump lines, but it's in Cleveland, Ohio, which isn't a place that we normally go. So we're taking the opportunity that we're going out west from Woodward and the fact that we're kind of going right by Cleveland and we were gonna stop at Ray's, but the issue is they're only open on Sundays during the summer because they take the summer to rebuild and have like new stuff for the winter. But a friend of ours who's a local, David Lieb, great guy, great mountain bike rider, uh, connected us with management and we're getting like a one or two hour session. As long as we are out of there before 4 p.m., we can have fun. So we're gonna go there and get to enjoy Ray's even if it's for a little bit. Stoked. That's why we get up so early. I love it when skate parks are in kind of abandoned looking industrial areas, because look at how cool this place looks. Tell me that isn't like the coolest storefront ever. All right, so we are rolling up in. We've got about an hour and a half here before they have to shut down. So coincidentally, there's actually a company in here shooting a commercial, so we have to be kind of quiet, but we're gonna go ride a separate room called the Profile Room, and we'll be good there. But I think that's the room I would actually wanna ride the most. Yeah, it, it has like all the pump tracks and box jumps and stuff that I wanna ride. They got a sweet pro shop here. This is the crazy looking section that they're filming at right now. So we gotta be really quiet. But we're gonna go over here into what's called the profile world room. <laughs> yeah, they do make good sounding hubs. So this is what we're gonna ride right now. Maybe we'll get a chance to ride the stuff at the other side of the park, but either way, like I've seen so many videos of this place and the park just looks so fun. I'm so stoked. I'm sure we'll be back here. Yeah, for sure. There's absolutely no way that I could do this park justice filming it with a handheld camera. So I feel like I have to give you guys a tour of the park going through the lines with a chest mount GoPro. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so we enter the park right here. And one of the cool things about this place is it all starts up on a second story. So you don't really have to pedal through anything, which is really nice when you're riding bikes because it makes stuff a lot easier. All right, so we've got four potential options. We have a pump track line here, a small jump line here, an intermediate jump, and a big boy jump. I'm gonna hit the intermediate jump. I've ridden these three, and the intermediate jump is definitely my favorite right now. 
All right, guys, so get ready for the coolest place ever. Woo! So much air. This corner is so fun. And the best parts, I like this part. It's like, ooh, look at me. In the wave, out the wave the other way. Little manual. And then a hip. How fun is that? Tell me that isn't the funnest thing ever. Funnest. All right, get it, Nicole. It's really cool how all the stuff here is marked. So we have like enter pump track, enter jumps, so you don't get confused while you're riding. All right, we're gonna fly by Nicole. Oh, she's moving. Oh. <laughs> now we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good. Yeah, we are. I'm not gonna pass you, don't worry. Yeah, you got air. No, I'm not gonna pass you. Don't worry. What are you do? I'm not. I'm just filming you. You good, babe? Please. Please. Goals. <laughs> you went way faster than I thought. <laughs> now I'll do the jumps and you'll do the. I'm gonna get some static shots of me going through that one line just in case it's kind of hard to tell what's going on in the GoPro. Really cool side. They uh, finished their commercial, so they actually have a pump track that goes up and all the way around this entire building. I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Ooh, it might be dark. It smells like pink. I'm excited. Yeah, this looks sweet. I'll let you know if it's hard. Oh, it's bumpy. This is sweet. Ah, so this is how it gets upstairs. This place is so cool because it's got all these sunlights up here. Look at that. We're like upstairs in the rafters right now. Oh, it's so pretty with Christmas tree lights. I love it. Wee. Oh, jumps. I like jumps. This is so cool. I'm lost. This is the coolest place on the planet. Just keeps going and going and going. Oh my goodness. Whoa. How long is this? I swear we've ridden around like the entire skate park. This is so cool. It looks like this is an area where maybe people store their bikes. What? So crazy. Just keeps going and going and going. Oh boy. Oh 
Oh my goodness. For someone who rides like mountain bikes and is looking for a place to go, this has to be the most insane thing I've ever seen. I didn't even realize this place was that big. Oh, hit the wall. Oh wow. Looks like that area is under construction or something. This is so cool. Is this another room I haven't seen before? What the heck? Oh my goodness. It's so easy to get lost here. Oh, you've never been here. I've never ridden like the whole thing. I, does it keep looping around? Because I can't tell if I finished or not. They've even got this crazy resi section. Is this Oververt? I guess not. Still. Oh, this is sweet. One of the few places I've been to where they have a resi box that's like identical to the normal box. That's rad. Did you go back and see the bowl? The kink bowl? There's a bowl? How do yeah. we get there? It's right there. The big white thing that says kink on it. Oh. How do, what's, how do we get there? That's a, well, that's a good question. Wow, oh, this bowl is sweet. Oh, this is a cool photo spot. Oh, this is so cool. I love with the ceiling and everything. Oh, I got to do that curved wall ride. Oh, we're definitely coming back. If you can't tell, I destroyed my mic and my side. It kind of hurt. Anyway, I had to do it again. I picked a better line and I tried the curved wall ride and you guys know I landed it just for you. This bowl was a lot of fun, but very bummed that I destroyed my mic and didn't realize it and have footage with no audio. So uh, this is the little street room. I cruised around a little bit to look at it, but we had to go because it was 4 p.m. Words can't describe how much fun that place is. I genuinely think we might have had just as much fun riding here as we did at Woodward. So I think we're definitely going to make a special trip back here to Rays. Maybe do a meet up with you guys next time. We were only here for so little time and they weren't open so we couldn't do anything like that. But I'd love to come back. Yeah, we should do a Rays jam. Yeah, that would be sweet. Let's go. We got a very, if you can believe it, a, so a we're going somewhere that's even more special than this place. So, all right, let's do this. Idiot Adam thought it would be funny to freaking flip his <laughs> water bottle. I was trying to be cute. And get everything wet. I already wiped off a ton of See, it. See, the problem was I didn't realize the lid was off because I was watching the road like a good driver and I was just going to be like a casual like. But you're the one that takes the lids off and leaves them off. We haven't seen a Tim Hortons in so long. Oh, I miss you Canada. It's just so funny because Tim Hortons was with Joyride and now Tim Hortons is with like Ray's. Tim How crazy is that? I'm stoked for this Rays Jam, by the way. Nicole and I have been brainstorming. You've reached out. your marked location. Thanks, I've never been here before, Mr. 9500iX, if you've been curious what radar detector I use. Um, anyway, uh, we're trying to plan like a really cool jam. It probably won't be for a while, but we're trying to think of activities. Kind of like how we did the Joyride Jam, except way more organized. It's like lots of fun little stuff and, in the game. And not really skills contests, things that all skills can do and play. Yeah, things that all skills can do. <laughs> As we said in videos a while back, uh, the whole plan was to meet up with Roman when we drove through Ohio, but uh, we understood with the baby coming that they'd be really busy and it probably wouldn't be able to happen because when you have a baby, you know, you kind of want space and everything. But we're driving through Ohio. How could we not stop and see country? <laughs> What's going on, man? Welcome, welcome. It feels good to be back in the snow bunny. Yes, and the snow bunny's been waiting for you. And the snow bunny's taking you to an amazing, amazing steak dinner. These steaks are so good, they're not even on the menu. They're not on the menu. It's a secret steak special. <laughs> I'm stoked, I love steak. What's up, little country? Hey. We're, what, what game are we gonna play when we get back? Um, what do you call it? It's either um, Call of Duty um, or um, Rocket League. We're gonna play Rocket League, because I think Nicole liked that. Stoked. <laughs> you know, you know, the, you know, it's funny today when I went to go see Roman. He had he had your shirt on today. Yeah, that's what that's what he told me. Yeah, and yeah, he was wearing your red um. Oh, the, 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 the red shirt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you need to put that shirt back on red. I don't. What a coincidence! And you were just coincidentally wearing that shirt, or did you put it on for me? You know, I'm gonna say this. I have worn a couple of your shirts. Oh, I see him on Instagram. I, 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 
I, I'm wearing this for you though. I ain't gonna lie. I'm I appreciate it. But, um, <laughs> but the couple other ones, I didn't wear them for you. I wore them for me for you. Oh. We need to hook them up with some new shirts. Yeah. This thing's so rad. How big are those wheels, Country? 22s. Dang. <laughs> On top of all the awesome people that we've already thanked in this video, we have to extend another thank you to Country for letting us stay at his place. And JJ for letting us use his fidget spinners. <laughs> Tomorrow we are going to be on the road all day because we'll be driving to Wisconsin for the US Air event this weekend. So I'm not too sure that we'll have anything that we could really film and make a video out of. If you guys want us to make another on the road Q&A live stream, we could totally do that. Just let us know in the comment section. I don't know if you saw my pinned comment on the last video, but I came up with this very simple and achievable thing that I want to ask of you guys. If we can try to keep our videos to have likes that are at least a hair more than 10% percent of the views that will mean so much to us. I kind of view it as something similar to complimenting your wife because we know or at least hope that you guys enjoy the videos but you, you don't always tell us and that's okay. Kind of like I appreciate how beautiful Nicole is and I probably don't tell her it enough. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> Show them how easy it is to hit the like button Nicole. I just hit the like button. Oh I just disliked the video. What video? Go for BMX. Oh, but it was good. Ah, oh, but you know that one part. Nah. But overall. Okay, we get it. You're, up, man. you're funny. <laughs> It's just one of those things that helps us reach a wider audience and of course whenever we put out videos that we're really proud of We want as many people as possible to see them, but we appreciate you guys more than you could possibly imagine. Thank you so much I got hungry. I'm tired Okay we love you guys, and until next time, stay cheerio. Bye! When you said 